interested to see how I maintain after that. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and start our workout. Stay tuned for some epic leg games, yeah? Because I am trying to vlog for you guys, you know? And he is <laughs> working on something as always. He's like a Mr. Fix-It. He fixes everything by himself, which I love and definitely need in a man. So, fellas, make sure you know how to use a tool set, please. Um, and, yeah, so this is my setup for this uh, workout. I am going to warm up with a softball. So, for me, I really love how solid they are and it able, enables me to get really into that glute tie-in. And um, then these are the Versa grips that I swear by. It's got a grip plate, super sticky, so it won't let you lose your grip during pulls or presses. And we've got our weights. Um, I'm currently using the Takeya 40 ounce. I'm trying to drink four of these, three to four of these a day. And I love it, it keeps it nice and cold before I like. stretching I like to go ahead and roll out you can use a foam roller um, a softball like I did tennis ball a cross ball um, even a frozen water bottle works great you're gonna lodge it into your hip adductors I like to flex my foot and place it right over my knee and basically it opens up that hip adductor really nicely so that you're able to get into the deeper parts of it then I roll out my hamstrings all the way down from the glute all the way to the back of the knee and then loosen up a lot of that tight tissue there. Last but not least, since we are hitting legs, you want to make sure that you hit your quads as well. It is one of the bigger muscles, so you start from the top of your hip, like the front, all the way down that entire quad muscle, so you hit like right above your knee and you'll really feel a lot of that pain but it's really great to break up a lot of that tightness prepare your muscles for activation once you finish rolling it all out basically I like to round it off with a few more static stretches just to loosen up those hip flexors and the groin now that we're warmed up we're gonna start with the nice dynamic movement it's going to be a deadlift to a clean to a front squat keeping your weight in the heels hit your deadlift Clean the bar up as the elbows face down and then squat down making sure your knees are wide open, weight is in the heels. Following the clean and squat is one of my all-time favorite movements, it is a Bulgarian split squat. So you basically keep all the weight in your front heel, keep your chest up nice and tall, shoulders back, elbows pointed down. You're going to go for a deep stretch, 90 degrees bend in the knee, and then go all the way down, all the way up. You can also incorporate pulse lunges while you're at it. It's a really great way to fatigue the muscles and you're going to feel the burn. If it's your first time trying this movement, I highly recommend you try it without weight first. You can also use dumbbells in your hand um, before you work your way up to the bar. Next up, we've got sumo deadlifts. These are by far one of my all-time favorite compound movements. So you want to just make sure that your hips come up um, a little bit higher and then you bring your deadlift up using your lower back really engage your glutes really engage your abs using your breath so inhale as you go down exhale as you come up and exert force I don't know about you guys, but one thing I really strive to improve is my hip dips. Being Asian and being um, genetically challenged when it comes to hips, 
I definitely struggle with them. So this movement helps target those stubborn hip dips and really build out your figure. So side lunge going out, your weight should be in the heel. Keep your chest up nice and tall, making sure not to collapse your knee inwards. And I guarantee you, you are going to feel the burn on these. For an added bit of a challenge on the abs, I bring up the knee to a knee up. Feel free to omit this movement if you want to just keep it simple. Next up, we're gonna go straight into targeting that shelf booty. I don't know about you guys, but I want a nice full butt from top to bottom. So good mornings are one movement that definitely helped me build up my butt. I basically use a barbell on my back or you can use a resistance band pulling it between your legs. Feel free to play around with your stance, either feet together or spread apart about shoulder width distance. Keeping your gaze forward, making sure not to collapse your chest. Shoot your glutes back, keeping a slight bend in your knees as you hinge forward and then using your glutes and lower back to squeeze as you come up. Last but not least, to bring it all together and really set that booty on fire, I'm gonna superset single leg glute bridges followed by regular glute bridges. So I like to elevate my foot either on a BOSU ball or on a plate just to give me a slighter bit of a challenge as far as stability and a deeper stretch. Keeping your weight in the heel, you're gonna shoot that other leg straight up to the sky, thrusting your hips up and squeezing your glutes when you hit the top. These are really, really tough and they hurt a lot after you finish an intense leg workout like the one we just did. I highly recommend that you modify your weight, but challenge yourself. It's a really great way to shock the muscles and really finish out your leg day nice and strong and you will get an awesome booty pump at the same time. go into our regular glute bridges we're gonna go ahead and do a glute bridge hold so using the weight on your hips pressing down at the same time fight the resistance keeping your hips up as long as you can I aim for 30 to 40 seconds and then you're just gonna fatigue it out with regular hip thrust all the way down all the way up just remember you're tired you're sore you're in a lot of pain but this is when it counts the most push through and finish strong guys to wrap up our workout it's been a while since I just targeted strictly one muscle part but I'm going to basically take my split back so legs and booty back and biceps and then shoulders and tries so those will be my three compound lift days and then we're gonna go ahead and incorporate two full body circuit days and then one full recovery day and then um, probably like an active rest day so uh, yoga with rolling out with abs Sorry. I'm so tired that workout kicked my butt everyone does things a different way so it's good to take little bits and pieces from what you like and what you want to try so um, working on my trouble parts I'm really gonna work on bringing my um, delts up um, defining my lower back bringing in the waist because you know that's like where I hold my fat so Obviously, over time, I just want to show you guys progress. Um, I'm feeling good though, even though my weight isn't going down on the scale, I'm not going to psych myself out because I'm feeling leaner when I wake up. Um, so that's basically how I'm just going to gauge the next few weeks um, and then I'll do a couple measurements and check-ins here and there but I just don't want to psych myself out. If my waist is coming down and the scale is staying put or going up a little bit that just means my body is liking the food and I'm building some muscle. My metabolism is firing up again so that's always a good sign. But yeah, you're basically going to do um, all six workouts in groups of superset. You really want to go for the squeeze and the glute um, and don't psych yourself out on like going for like 200 pounds. A lot of girls are um, 
they emphasize on like going heavy, 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 but go for quality of reps. If you're not engaging your glutes, then there's no point in even doing that exercise with maximum weight. So once you feel that glute is on fire and you're able to execute the movement with good form, then you know you can go ahead and um, challenge yourself a little bit by increasing the weights or increasing the reps. Um, Obviously, the heavier you go, the more you're going to shock your muscles, and it's just going to require um, more energy to burn. So it does burn more fat, and it does build bigger muscles. So that's always good. And um, I'm just going to basically go ahead and stretch, roll out a little bit because I want to be able to walk tomorrow. And then we're going to go ahead and go for some dinner. I've only gotten one meal today. I broke my fast at 1 p.m., and then I basically will end it at 9 p.m. So no food after 9 p.m. And then I fast all the way through the 12 hours till 1 p.m. again. And then I'll be doing that um, for the majority of the week. I think I'll just finish out the week like that. And then I'll see how my body responds. So far off of one day, I woke up feeling a little bit tighter today. So that was good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you guys did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe just so you guys don't miss out. I've got a few travels coming up and I'm really excited to take you guys on. So yeah, have a beautiful day guys. Happy Thursday and just do what you can. Every single day, make it count, you know. Um, don't wait till tomorrow. The best you can do is just use the 24 hours that you have in front of you. So yeah, have a beautiful day guys. Thanks for watching. Oye mi mamacita, tu cuerpo y carita, bien bonito.